all right, so what should we do now in the meantime? Well, we wait for Taha to get back. I'm glad we got that out of the way. Whew. I don't know. I guess, I don't know, read some? I get, we're still... We're still on a Star Wars kick, I guess. Maybe we should uh, see if we can find some, uh, like, Jar Jar Banks slash Vex. That exists. <laughs> you suck, you suck, you suck, you suck, you suck. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! Uh. <laughs> so, so incredible. All right. Char char. Charger has a swell time. There are some options. Sort result type. Exclude crossovers, only crossovers. <laughs> only crossovers. So so you can't like filter out like erotic. Okay. Cause like, well, you should be able to, right? You have yeah, uh, narrow results on the right. So Where? Narrow results on the right, so you go to the right. Oh, oh okay. maybe you can go to Good. romance. I want. Okay, we need to find Jar Jar Binks cross Draco Malfoy. Okay. All right. You go to a category Harry Potter, I think. Well, there's Star Wars. Jar Jar Malfoy, I think, will be where we start. That's the OTP. The cashews. A jar of cashews and a naked Draco. Okay, I kind of want to just do that. <laughs> but, uh, it has the word jar in it. Yeah. It's close. <laughs> it's close. It is. It's the most relevant result. <laughs> oh, man. There's something called Jar of Hearts that was made in 2014. It's about Malfoy, and it's, it's in all, Spanish. It's it has Spanish. to be bad. <laughs> it has, like, I'll I'll do Google Translate here. <laughs> <laughs> it says the word Titanic. <gasps> We're just fucking around for now. <laughs> this... Can can you like do a URL thing? Like you paste a URL. Okay. All right. So I'll find Spanish. Say it's English. Jar of hearts. Then we'll do this Malfoy thing. <laughs> Alright, cool. Hermione lost her love, Ron, in the sinking of the Titanic. Oh! <laughs> However, the fruit was born was Rose Weasley. Without knowing it, both will end up in the same town as their former partner, Draco Malfoy. Who is now married with the son about the age of Hermione's daughter, sure. And he is thirsty for revenge. Broken promises. Impossible loves. Anyway, no one can be happy with the Malfoy. Am I right? Sure, <laughs> yeah. guys. Author's nose. Before starting this is a fan fiction of mine, and I already published in Potter Fix. I am Chica Twelve. It's the second part of my adaptation of Titanic to the Harry Potter. It's improved. All right. I don't. I I suppose I can't call it Star Wars Dark Forces anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh God. This is not Star Wars Dark Forces. 
I mean, there are dark forces at work here, but not... <laughs> not in the space wizard sense, just in the devil. <laughs> yeah. The actual devil. The literal devil. It's uh, just like, hey. Hermione watched the clock silently. She was keeping track. I don't care. Wow, I lost steam real fast. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'll do this. Hermione watched the clock silently. She was keeping track of the sinking of the ship. She had not met... On which she had met Ron without knowing it. Why should he have died, not her? What was the point of staying alive, even though alone? All the promises and dreams were made to each other were not fulfilled because of a terrible catastrophe. I do not understand why I was still alive if all I wanted to do was meet him on the other side. Oh, right. I was pregnant. Oh, naturally. Okay. He looked at his belly and felt a material tenderness. Something that came naturally. What? It... <laughs> but he looked at his belly and felt a maternal tenderness. Yep. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> It'd be a paternal. Well, not look, All right. <laughs> okay. No. 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 I'm sorry. It's not our place. <laughs> um, something that came naturally. It was already big and it showed at a great <laughs> distance. She felt a a bit of nostalgia, but forgot. But forgot it when she thought she had even had something that would remind Ron of her forever. A proof that it was real. Oh. This Google translates like, like kicking ass right now. Yeah. With innocence, he thought about the sex of the baby. Yo, stop it. Stop. Stop it. Uh, child? A girl? I wanted a child, no doubt. A redhead with white skin, freckled with beautiful blue eyes. As the, if I were a child, I imagined a beautiful little girl with red curls and brown eyes. I sighed and looked at the desk. It was full of works that I was, I was still about to finish writing. Since he started living in New York, that had been his only distraction, and it was good. Beside it was a daily newspaper with nothing more, nothing less than smiling half blonde on the car. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> a daily newspaper with nothing more? And nothing less than a smiling half blonde on the cover. What does half blonde mean? Uh, that means like the left half of a blonde. <laughs> oh, okay. oh. But but say that means there were no words on this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> there were no articles. There's just this picture of a half blonde. Oh yeah. <laughs> he picked it up and read the article carefully. When he finished, he looked at the picture again and saw a beautiful chestnut next to the blonde he hated. <laughs> <laughs> it was his wife, the one that had replaced Hermione. He threw the newspaper aside and continued working with his work. In a small room, a brunette woman paced from one side to the other without stopping smiling. A small bundle was left to glimpse under the fine fabric that she wore, and her hair was disheveled by the agitation of her movements. Obviously. Yeah. Idiot. <laughs> uh, behind her, a blonde came out of the shadows and frightened her. The woman gave a little cry and looked at him with a frown. I think I could assure you that it will be a child. <laughs> he commented. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> he commented with bright he eyes and put one, one of, of his, his hands, hands to his belly. belly. <laughs> It'll be a food baby. <laughs> How can you know that? Because <laughs> I think, because I think they just like said like miho or miha. Let's let's see what it said. Nino. Nino, yeah. which is it's a, a boy. A, yeah, boy. Well, it's it's a boy, but it's also like uh, the word for child. Just a kid, too. Yeah. Because yeah. Spanish be... always defaults to the masculine if anything's yeah left ambiguous. So it's yeah. I think I can assure you that it will be a child. child. How, How can, can you know, know that? that? <laughs> with the sweetness with with a sweetness nothing like it. <laughs> Something whispers in my ear, whispered in a mysterious tone, and then I laugh. I do not need to know. I'm sorry, the blonde sighed. <laughs> what you say, honey? Amazing. Draco Malfoy believing in someone. The blonde smiled with some sorrow, and she kissed him. 
We will be happy, he promised, although he knew that it would be impossible. Oh! Okay, this is kind of a long thing. Oh, God. I can assure you that it will be a child. <laughs> How can you know that? <laughs> How can you possibly know? Because you're pregnant, dummy. Duh. Idiot. <laughs> I can assure you it'll be a child. <laughs> There's only one thing worse than a rapist. A child. A child. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> a ro yeah. All right. Cool. Good. Rose watched the road from the window. The car was in motion, so his hair was ruffled with every break that the driver gave. <laughs> so it's just oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> At his side, his mother read the newspaper carefully. What was on that newspaper? <laughs> Anything? <Yeah. laughs> he was just a picture! He was still annoyed with her because they had moved from one place to another without warning. I was tired of it. But I had to understand. His mother's work deserved that, so bothering was not something he could do. The car finally entered an inhabited area, and Rose approached the window. People passed from one place to another, like a normal town. Nothing to do with the previous place where they had lived. In that place, almost no one left to breathe pure air. A girl passed by him, running on the sidewalk. Behind her, a man pursued her without stopping to smile. Rose felt her heart shrink and stopped looking out the window. What? <laughs> I'm sure that that will stay there for many years," said her mother, leaving the newspaper aside, looking at her with a sympathetic smile. He said the same thing in New Orleans. The redhead complained without returning the smile to her mother. I New Orleans. I knew that you did not like that place. I was not going to make you live there for long. Rose noticed guilt in her mother's eyes and smiled at her. It was true. That place was unpleasant. However, he had some some friends. If animals could be could be told friends. Yeah, fuck you, New Orleans. Apparently, <laughs> I'm sure it will last much longer here. I try to cheer up your mother. <laughs> your mother. <laughs> your mother. The great Hermione Granger. At least for her, Hermione was the bravest and strongest woman in the world. He had never seen her cry, and yet he knew he was still suffering from the loss of his father. <laughs> Uh, obviously, I could not understand her. The pain she felt was different. She missed and longed for a father she never knew. We'll stay here for a long time, Rose. You were born here. Rose let out a sigh. He knew that in those streets where he had spent the first of his life, he, yet he did not feel comfortable with them. Who, who are they talking about? Who was saying this? I don't know. I never, uh, I never know. So there's Rose, and we have the narrator, who is I... Who sometimes might be Rose, but then they talk about Rose in the third person. They also have Hermione, and the mother, and the blonde. Is Rose a Mary Sue? Or is that a real real character? Rose is I need to ask the, Sarah. Oh, Rose is know? the character from uh, I, uh, the Titanic, I think. Uh, oh, okay. You're right. You're right. absolutely right. That's... I was gonna say, like, it's not anything Harry Potter that I knew of. I don't know, um... But she's a Weasley. Can yeah, it was Rose Weasley. Yeah. So I don't, I don't know if the <sighs> this Game of Thrones to be the family same person thinks, or like <laughs> Game of Thrones family here. Right. Also, Rose wouldn't be a Weasley. The Weasleys were poor. <laughs> and wait, who's... and Rose was an aristocrat. Question: Who is pregnant? Hermione. Is... Him is pregnant. Who is Rose? I think Rose is no, the I, I this. think. Hermione is sometimes the him, but sometimes the Rose is also. I think it's him. just Spanish yeah. getting weird on us. Yes, but it, I think it's Rose that is pregnant, but I think I, the narrator refers to themselves as also pregnant sometimes. 
Wow. Maybe. Whose child is this? It's definitely a child, though. Who's pregnant? Somebody's pregnant. Definitely, definitely, be a child. definitely a child. It's going to be a child. <laughs> At least there's no ambiguity there. Um, where were we? Oh, uh, um, yeah, we'll stay yeah. here for a long time. Uh, I'll just start here. Fuck it. He wanted to say something, but the car stopped abruptly and his hair got really ruffled and all his <laughs> thoughts were lost. The door to the right opened and a hand appeared. Conf <laughs> I get wizard shit, alright. Uh, she looked up and found herself with brown eyes and <laughs> a smile that overflowed with emotion. Suddenly there's shit in her eyes. It's like, oh god, I got brown eyes now. Lewis shouted excitedly. Wow! <laughs> shouted <laughs> shouted out the guy to hug tightly the chestnut tree that was in front. I had not. S Wait! <laughs> <laughs> to hug the chestnut tree? Lewis is. Ah! Excuse me? I had not seen him in so long. Wait, is, is, is Lewis, Lewis a tree? Is a chestnut tree? <laughs> Like is that is that like a Harry Potter thing or <laughs> maybe maybe okay all right so there's it's a tree there's a tree that uh like moves around but I don't think it's I think it's just like a tree that can do that and beats you up it beats oh you well up. it's oh it's the I can't remember what it was called but it's like the whipping tree or something and it just like flails its arms around but yeah. it doesn't like actually go anywhere yeah. But this one, this one is, is named, uh, whatever, and it, yeah, she loves it. She loves this tree. Alright, so... Well, Lois! So, but now you have grown, Rose, he shouted when they separated. Hello, Lewis, it's nice to see you again, said Hermione, getting out of the car behind Rose. Lewis bowed slightly, and Hermione shook her head. You know, that does not go with me. You do not have to, the boy nodded, embarrassed, and Hermione gave him a modest hug. All things are already inside. Is, is he a chestnut tree or not? <laughs> uh, of course, the garden is decorated with No, roses. he's a real boy. <laughs> it's Pinocchio? Yeah! He spoke almost choking. He's, 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 he's not a chestnut tree. He's just made out of chestnut wood. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was <laughs> all right. Uh, uh, all things are already inside. Yeah, ordered. all things are already inside as ordered, and of course the garden is decorated with roses. He spoke almost choking on the words, and Rose smiled contentedly. Behind Lewis stood the great house that Hermione had bought. It was huge, maybe more than he wanted. But he looked so elegant and simple at the same time that he loved it. Where was I? Perfect. I think there could not be a better welcome. Lewis smiled proudly to see Hermione happy. Let's go inside, Rose, he said, taking his daughter's hand, and Rose nodded. Both entered with the great house, and would that would be his now, but not for long. <laughs> oh. Jane Malfoy. Was that a Titanic or is that a Wait. Harry Potter thing? Or is that just a new uh, thing? Uh, not anything I know of. I don't know. I don't know my I don't Harry I don't Potter. know either <laughs> like either property very well. Yeah. Was pacing the room, dancing to the happy music that came on the radio. The two pigtails that tied her hair moved in time with her movements. Do you have any idea how much your music bothers me when I study? Scorpius Malfoy burst in. Oh. We got a badass here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, switching off the music, his sister looked at him furiously and came over to her to to turn her on again. Oh, good. Yes. <laughs> 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 That's not my problem, little brother. Besides, when do you study books and not girls? The blonde blushed slightly and gray-eyed twinkled with fury. Shut up, Jane, her sister smiled, happy for what she had achieved and continued dancing. Draco Malfoy entered the room, still touching his head with an angry look. Jane, turn off that music. It gives me a headache. 
he said, and Scorpius smiled triumphantly. Jane stuck her tongue out at him in a childish way and it turned and turned it fuck turned off the radio while frowning at his brother. Scorpius, go find your mother and do not come back. <laughs> Jane smiled when she saw her brother vote. <laughs> I like she's like, go find your mother, but not ours. Vote? Vote. Scorpius lost his smile and left the room. Jane also get out of here. Jane rolled her eyes and left the room behind her brother. Wait, did she just tell herself to go? Oh no, Draco said all that. Okay, never mind. Yeah, yeah. Minutes later, Astoria entered, wearing a simple blue dress. Franco looked at her and smiled half-heartedly. He still did not understand how he had managed to get Astoria to believe in him. After they had taken Hermione for dead, he had taken it for granted that he would ever find a woman who wanted to marry him, and therefore he would lose the inheritance to which he was destined. However, weeks later, and they had met Astoria in the club with a bottle full of bum, and I got the tab XP into taking drugs. I was beautiful, and no doubt I had seen it the first and as a good companion. She had hated him for being arrogant and selfish. Even so, later they ended up falling in love. Oh. <laughs> but now, strange was li but how strange was life? Right? Yeah. How strange is life? Life is strange, Tan. <laughs> yeah. Scorpia said you wanted to see me. Something happened? He said in that soft and sweet voice, but firm and direct at the same time. Hermione is not dead. He never was. He let go and Astoria looked at him surprised <laughs> just a few seconds. <clears throat> How do you know? Draco frowned, confused. You knew about it before, did did not you? Astoria remained silent, not knowing what to say. He took a deep breath and nodded. Five years ago, I saw an article of his plays. I recognized it instantly. They were called Equal, however, the last name. I decided not to tell you. She confused. She confessed while looking at her husband. Draco ran a hand through his furious hair. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's the angry hair if I've ever God. seen it. Yeah. It's okay. I can't see shit. Not much better. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> um, let's see. His furious hair. All right. Five years, he shouted, as if something was unforgivable. As if it was something unforgivable. It was the best, he tried. He's living here. Astoria. We're going to give a dance and welcome. He threw an invitation to the chair, and the brunette took it. It was the same name he had seen five years ago. We will not go, of course. We do not. Astoria raised her head. And shit. I started... Looking at the chat window, <laughs> not the other one. Astoria raised her head and looked at him. Confused. And looked at him confused. Thanks. What do you mean? Scorpius will go. And before he said anything else, Astoria understood everything. Oh, wow. I thought Astoria was a place. No, Astoria's a person in this one. Oh, okay. The wife of Drago is what I understand. Okay. Cool. No, Draco. You're not going to use your son as a weapon to hurt Hermione. Draco looked at her in amazement. That woman knew him better than anyone else. I will not use it as a weapon. I want to know about Hermione. If she is married, if she has children, I do not know. You know what I can not introduce myself. Hermione will run away as soon as we find out we are living in the same town. Astoria shook her head energetically. And what good would all this information do you? His voice was clear. I was not going to give up. It's not what you're thinking, I promise. Despite everything, he did not let himself be convinced. Swear me, Draco. Swear that you will not do anything for your pride or whatever you want to call it. Draco let out a sigh and nodded. I swear, he said, although he knew how to lie perfectly. <laughs> oh my god. Damn. 
I don't want to read anymore. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Let's do a different one. Yeah.